Aspera Transfer Service is a SaaS solution fully managed by Aspera. Use ATS to move data directly in and out of your cloud storage at maximum speed, regardless of file size, transfer distance, and network conditions. ATS supports the Aspera Gen 4 Node API, a set of REST APIs that make it easy to integrate your application. In this video, we'll use ATS to perform a transfer from IBM Object Storage to AWS S3 Storage using API calls. We'll show you how to use the Gen 4 Node API to verify connectivity to the transfer node, browse your storage, initiate a cloud-to-cloud -cloud transfer, pause and resume the transfer, and check transfer status. We'll use Postman to exercise the API. Before you begin, we assume you have the following in place. Aspera firewall requirements have been met. The URL for both the sender and receiver ATS and your Aspera access key and secret for both the sender and receiver ATS. To demonstrate transferring files between two cloud platforms, we set up two environments in Postman one for the sender ATS connected to the IBM cloud, and the other for the receiver ATS connected to AWS. Each environment is defined by the ATS URL, the access key and secret, and the port. Before initiating the transfer, it's useful to verify connectivity with ATS. To do this, we issue the get slash info call, in this case to the receiver. There is a lot of valuable information here, but getting any non-error response confirms we have connectivity. A key item in the header is the token from the receiver required to make the transfer call to the sender. Copy the receiver token here. We'll use this in the transfer call in a couple moments. If you are not using Postman or another client that generates a token in this way, you can use the base64 command in a terminal window. Using the access key and secret of the target directory on the receiver ATS, issue a command like this to generate the required token. Now let's browse the sender storage to see the file we want to send. Issue the post slash files slash browse call to the sender, and in the response, we'll see our file to transfer. Have a look at the IBM Object Storage UI as well, and you'll see the sender contents. There are several files and folders here. Here is the one we want. And let me give you a quick look at the AWS S3 UI, showing our target folder on the receiver. Still in the sender ATS environment, click the post slash ops slash transfers call and display the body. Confirm you have the receiver URL and access key. Paste the token you retrieved into the token field after the text BASIC. Then confirm the file name. Send the call. Your transfer is now initiated. You can monitor the transfer in Aspera console. Next, to pause, resume, and check status on this specific transfer, we need the transfer ID, so let's copy that. To pause this transfer, send the put slash ops slash transfer with the file ID, and in the body of the request, set the target rate to zero. Now, let's resume the transfer by sending the same put call with a non-zero target rate. As the transfer completes, let's check status. Still on the sender, send the get slash ops slash transfers call with the transfer ID. Check the response to verify the status. And have a look here at the AWS storage UI, showing that the file we transferred is now present as expected. For more details about the Node API, please visit Aspera's developer network at developer.asperasoft.com. And thank you for your interest in Aspera products.